How's it going guys? Specker Production here and right in front of me as you can see is this all new 2024 Chevy Traverse. Now as you guys might have known or if you guys are uh, subscribed to my channel I've actually already filmed the Chevy Traverse but um, I figured I get a closer look right here and this is also a different trim as well so this is the RS trim right here. I'll give it a quick walk around got these beautiful 22 inch rims which is pretty crazy for um just to think about it honestly because this is a chevy traverse and has 22 inch rims which is crazy um this is the rs trim like i said so yeah as you can see it's a fully blacked out package you got uh blacked out tail lights which looks super clean as well as a uh, blacked out badges everywhere except for the um RS badge right here got quad exhaust and um, I'll say this right away this thing does look menacing uh, the trim that I saw in uh, the auto show uh, was like an off-road style trim and this is a more of a street uh, version trim more luxury and yeah as you can see it's like I said these 22 inch rims are pretty big actually they look they look proportionate, but at the same time, pretty big. Uh, and another thing I just wanted to say, I just noticed is that if you kind of look at it like squinting, kind of uh, the body kind of reminds me of the outline of a uh, uh, Cadillac Escalade. So yeah, uh, up at the front, you could see very squared off design of these beautiful uh, daytime running lights. Pretty small, pretty, uh, pretty clean design as you can see also right here you got the headlights themselves which are not big as well but it keeps the design clean and uh, yeah let's move on to the interior so this is the interior of the RS model uh, you can see it's equipped with Bose speakers and yeah, overall, this interior is very, very beautiful. It's got a uh, full sunroof, moonroof as well. So it's like a full one-piece glass, except for the rear there. Um, this thing is equipped with a Super Cruise, for which, for those of you who don't know, it's almost like autopilot, but just below. Um, and yeah, and you can see right here, you got a beautiful gauge cluster, fully digital gauge cluster. And then right next to it is this huge infotainment screen which as you can see is not fully connected or attached so it's not even the same screen but they made it look super super smooth to where um you can't uh to where you can't tell that it's a different screen so it's almost like it just falls on the side there now you can see here here's the steering wheel you got an rs badge right here and overall it's a pretty clean design you got the center console right here with two cup holders. You got your USB there. One thing I do like, I just realized, is that it has the option for a USB-C and USB uh, port. So just the regular one. So it gives you the option of both. And you got a little cubby right here for whatever you want. So piano black right here. So I probably shouldn't touch that because I'll get my fingerprints all over it. Um, Pretty big center storage bin right here, which is really nice. And you got two cup holders here, very smart design choice because you can have cup holders here and here, very useful. And you also got a storage cubby right here. Um, one thing I also noticed for this is that it has this uh, very interesting red pattern design. So like almost, if you look at it from far, it imitates like a carbon. Like if you guys see on like a, let's say Koenigsegg Agera RS, um, there's one that is in a color of white with red carbon accents. So from far it kind of looks like that, but then you look up close, of course it doesn't. But still really nice. Got a little cubby right here, uh, storage um, bin right there. I mean the glove box, uh, and yeah. And here are the seats, pretty nicely designed, and you can see. There's the RS badge right there. Um, here's the gate, uh, the uh, shifter. 
a gear selector I mean it's a column shifter and um, yeah so let's move to the back real quick so back here looks like there's a lot of space a lot a lot of space so you got captain seats which are really nice now unfortunately they're like manually operated I know some cars have like fully automatic and one thing I also want to notice, uh, just notice, is that the um, transmission tunnel, I guess it's called, I forgot, but it's super low to the ground, so it gives you basically full space. So you can, you, uh, if you want to, you don't have to put these seats up. You can just walk through here and go into the back, which is really good. And that's the back row right here. You can see not too much space, but probably enough space uh, to sit children and maybe adults for short trips. Um, and yeah, you got a uh, USB-C port there, USB-C port here as well. And you got air vents here and LED lights. Uh, so yeah, let's get onto the trunk real quick. Overall pretty simple. Oh, and you also got your climate control panel right here with uh, two USB-C ports and a uh, wall outlet plug, which is pretty useful and heated seats as well. So as you can see, here's the trunk, fully automatic trunk. And this is how much uh, trunk space there is back here, which is actually really good considering um, it's a three row uh, SUV. So yes, you're minimized on uh, leg space right there, but uh, you also have this a lot more trunk space here, which is really useful. And these are automatic, I guess. You could probably fold them down. Oh no, so they're not automatic, but those seats go down so you can control uh, the seats up and down, like to move them up and down. And right here you got a little storage bin here. I don't think there's a spare here. Probably not, but still pretty useful. So let's close this. You can see overall very clean design. I do like the taillight design, and I'll show you guys under the hood as well. If we pop the trunk hood right here. All right, there we go. I got it. So under the hood is a 2.5 liter um, four-cylinder engine. Now I'm not sure on the horsepower to, uh, figures, but I'll probably put them. But um, point being is, is that it's powered by a four cylinder, which is probably more fuel economical. But again, for an SUV this big, you would expect at least a V6 option. But unfortunately, these will only be coming with a four cylinder engine, which in my opinion, there should be at least a V6 option because I feel like four cylinders can't really handle SUVs this big. Maybe like they can, of course, like mechanically and stuff. But in my opinion, I think they should have a V6. So yeah, as you can see, pretty big air box there. And overall, pretty quiet little engine. I'll probably put, like I said, the horsepower figures and the power figures uh, um, as like a little caption. But yeah not much interesting down here so yeah to conclude like i said this has a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine it is actually turbocharged so 2.5 liter turbo and it is uh made it to a eight speed automatic transmission which usually now cars have like 10 speeds and stuff and especially newer cars but eight speed transmission is also not bad at all so yeah, overall, let me know what you guys think of uh, this all new Chevy Traverse. Like I said, this thing looks really, really good. Um, I do like how it looks. I do like the big 22 inch rims, which are ginormous actually. And overall, the styling is really nice. The only uh, uh, letdown I have is the fact that it has a uh, four cylinder engine, because like I said, at least have the option to have a v6 engine um but uh yeah i'm sure it's no slouch on power but like i said it has to have at least an option on v6 uh, engine 
so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and i'll see you guys on my next videos peace